Welcome to Remove Blank Rows Demo. Here you can remove blank rows with just a few clicks, if not just one click. For example, if I wanted to remove rows from this sheet, I can just say either hide or delete. If I click hide, it removes some rows. Now you'll notice that row 14 was not hidden. And if I click unhide, that's because I have some space characters in one of these cells. Yes, this one, F14. Even though space characters are appear to be blank visually, it, from a computer perspective, they're just like any other character. Now, there has been an enhancement. So if I select this entire area and I click Consider Space Characters as Blanks, it will now include 14 in its removal, either delete or hide. Delete and hide have the same behavior. One hides cells, one physically permanently deletes. So now we see row 14 is indeed hidden. And we have an unhide button. The only selected range cells comes into play, let's say we choose these three columns. Row 16 has a valid, a non-blank non cell in D16. So if I click hide here, it does not remove row 16 because it looks at all the cells in that row. However, if I click unhide to refresh this, and now click only selected range cells must be blank, it will ignore anything outside of the range. So therefore, it will consider row 16 as a blank row. So if I click hide now, 16 is removed. So let's refresh by clicking unhide. The other added feature recently is remove blank columns. Now we, with remove blank columns, it ignores any range selections. It simply considers the entire sheet like this. You don't have to select anything. So that means remove entire row options do not apply at all for columns. So um, since H is blank, E is blank except uh, cell E7 has three space characters from the spacebar in it. We expect it to hide only H and not E. However, if I re refresh this by clicking undo and now say consider space characters as blank, we expect H and E to be hidden, and it is. And click unhide. And the other option recently added is process all sheet tabs. So just like the rule with the blank columns, it ignores any range selections that are highlighted and simply processes the entire sheet for all your sheet tabs. So in this case, we have a sheet here that only has a couple of cells populated. We have a lot of blank rows and columns. The second sheet tab we were just working on the third sheet has a lot of non-blank and blanks iterations. It goes all the way down to row 1505. So this is a stress test, if you will. And the fourth one is similar to what we saw over here. So it doesn't matter where you are when you select process all sheet tabs. So we'll click hide instead of delete in this case. So it goes to the first one, hides all the rows and all the columns in the first sheet, and then goes to the second one. <clears throat> now, I have noticed occasionally when we do a stress on this process all sheet tabs option, Google Sheets may throw an error. Um, it will say something went wrong, and it will also say, click to reload page. If this happens, I recommend that you just wait 
until this finishes, where the weight will go back to the unhide state or delete will go back to its delete state. So right now, this is still processing all these thousands of rows. And when it finishes the rows, rows it will then remove the columns. So let's give it a, another few seconds here to do all that extra work. And let's finish the third one, it looks like. So now it's going to go over to the fourth one and it deletes or, or hides those. And when it's finished, it comes back to the state here. And you can actually unhide. It will unhide all the sheet tabs of all the work. This, the unhide process is quicker, uh, especially you'll notice that in the third sheet. Some of the flashing you see is due to the screen capture video tool I'm using, so I apologize for that. You won't have that behavior. And it actually has finished. Um, we, you can also click see video demo, which is this video. Uh, after two years of free use, I'm now asking for any thank you gifts of $10 worth through PayPal or your debit credit card. So I hope uh, some of you will consider that based on the positive reviews. Uh, we also have a learn more, which takes you to a website with frequently asked questions and also includes a feedback form. So again, thank you for using Remove Blank Rows as well as Columns. Thanks.